great peeps I'm back sorry it's been a month but a few things have been going by the wayside and things have happened in the background and I'm not going to go into on this one this one is going to be going back a wee bit I'm trying to see if I can go back into some of the scrum news stuff um, don't know it's mainly just going to be more of the random rambles rather than the scrum news it's going to be covering all sorts of things. Um, first things first, I'll still say, still not fixed. Still can't get to a dentist yet. But hey, whatever. Um, in regards to that as well, because of certain aspects of work, um, speech, throat, things like that. I will be doing some speech therapy at some point as well this month. Um, later on in the month, I've got a video conference call with the guys at Sheffield. Oh yeah, by the way, new chair! The other one decided that it wanted to um, sink. Something to do with the underplate broke on it, it fractured. Also, yeah, I know, my hair is quite wild again. I know the last time you guys also saw me was uh, the Alton Towers videos. Any of you seem to have watched it, so yay! <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good in the hood, boys. It's all good in the hood. Yeah. So there's that. Now, yeah, it looks like we're going back into another lockdown again, don't it? Fun. But, yay. Fun. It's all going to be fun anyway, but hey, whatever. We'll just have to get through this. We're coming into winter. We'll just get through winter. Get on with everything else. And then deal with life as it comes. Good old cup of tea. This time, I'll be powered by tea. British staple. But yeah. Anyway, since we're going to be um, moving on to things. Sorry, I'm just going to try to reposition you without it going too far. Let me just move that just a touch bit lower. Still trying to keep everyone informed of everything. Still trying to keep central and sharp, but... Just using the other phone, using the bigger phone is a bit more uh, normal as I can see myself taller in that screen oddly. But I'm actually back on the smaller one this time because it's the one that's got bigger battery. Well, longer battery life today. How toast. I just catch my toenail. Anyway, so I'm just going to move straight into the rugby stuff because it seems more like the, uh, they've decided where they're going to put the uh, grand final for this year's Super League. To say in the point in Hull. Now, let's go to the KC, which is a rugby stadium. Yeah. Uh, good, good idea, bad idea. Yeah, it's, it's a place that hosts it. But my view is because there's going to be no crowd there, why have it there at all? To be honest, my initial thoughts originally was well, why have it at a stadium that is normal for them? It's not going to be a grand final anymore. It's just going to be a regular game. So if they want to do that, then why don't they move it on to like a smaller ground or help a club that needs money? So like close to here, we've got like Bolton or you could go Preston, Blackburn, Burnley. If you want to stretch it out a bit. You could go anywhere around here and find a, a non-rugby sanctioned ground. One that has no regular rugby games in it. Bolton would be a good one because, well, there's going to be games in there for the World Cup. It's going to be games in the Uniball, so why not? That'll be a good idea. There's probably quite a few of you out there that have probably got some ideas of where you would want to take it or where your ideas would go. So I want your ideas down below. Stick some comms down there, guys. Come on. Give us some feedback. Put what you want in there. Where would you put it? It's kind of like, you know, this whole kind of like thing that's still going on. Oh, will they, won't they, are they, aren't they not? You know, this, all this debacle and charade that's going on around uh, with Toronto. What's going on with them? Are they coming back? Are they not? Who knows? Anyway. What made you think is it looks more like Sonny Bill Williams may not ever be playing for them again if things go on from rumours that have been floating about for the like, past two months. He's still, apparently, still signed with them, as far as I know. Anyway, he's still part of their squad but 
now that the NRL season's over and his time with the Roosters is up, he's gone back to Toronto. But has he gone back or has he finished? Again, who knows? There's ins and outs with the club as well. Well, Wigan based anyway. There's quite a bit going on. It's kind of like we all know that Bevan French is homesick and he does want to go back to Oz. He's one of our best players and to be honest, seeing him out there when I did get a chance to see him when he was playing was amazing. But some of the performances that he's put in over these past few games, that absolute demolition of Salford, that was something I've I would have loved to have watched that. If that was up here, that would have been one hell of a game to have watched. And then the Derby win against Saints, where we had the full strength team versus the full strength team. We came out on top of that one. Now, the last time that we played, yeah, we had more of the kids in the squad because we were waiting to get into the cup. But obviously, that one failed. We didn't get into the cup. Um, something just didn't happen. The, the, the guys either just didn't play up, weren't ready for it, or we just got outclassed. I'm just going to say we got outclassed on the day because I still have to properly dissect that game myself if I can find the highlights um, for it properly. But there's ins and outs with that one all the time. Now, yeah, we're, you know, we're getting Bateman back. Yeah, you know, Bateman's coming back over. Uh, that, that's a good thing because he's a solid, solid player. And in the rugby challenge game, he's just one of the solid players in there as well. There's a load of top class players I'd love to see over here. It's like, again, going back to Sonny Bill Williams. Um, while there was all of this stuff going on about him going to Toronto first time round, there was also one or two tiny little whispers. These were most likely going to be paper top and just stuff like that. That he was possibly wanting, even if it was just for one game, just to have a shirt and play in the cherry and white for Wigan. Which, a player of his stature, a player of his talent, would have been amazing to see. But, to be honest, I don't think so. I think that was more paper talk than anything. I don't think that one would ever have happened. But anyway, what do you what do you reckon is going to happen with Toronto? Where, what stadiums would you like the grand final to be in? If you had any say in that. Another one, what do you reckon to whatever's going to happen with Sonny Bill Williams? Do you think he's going to hang his boots up? Or has he confirmed his boots up that I have not found? Is he Has he retired to your knowledge? Did he clock out when he went to, went, went to Toronto? Did he just have his time and just to go there and take the money? There's that one. Also as well, because there's a lot of like, ins and outs with the squad and everything like that, because like, we're having the kids and everything like that coming through. Got some really good kids coming through there as well. I know I'm rambling. Sorry, guys. This is going to be more of a, like I said, ramble, ramble. This is going to be in and out. So, yes, this is, at the moment, a rugby point here. But there is going to be a couple of other little bits and pieces going on as well. Um... Anyway, comments below about whatever you want to think of for that. So, like stadiums, for where it would be. Where do you re what do you reckon to it being in Hull? Do you reckon it is a good idea? Do you think they should have just put it at a small stadium somewhere uh, for that? Moving on to another part of the rugby section, uh, at least league anyway, uh, to do with expansion, since we were going on about Toronto. Um, where else do you reckon we should have it? Because I know we tried down south and we tried in London. Obviously, that didn't work with Bron Broncos. Broncos are still there or thereabouts, bubbling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But there's all sorts of little bits and pieces floating around with that. Um, the Welsh teams are doing fine, in quotes there, in the you know with within like League One and the the, the Championship. But to be honest, Wales is a rugby heartland, union wise, always has been. Was there some been some absolute class and absolute boss players come out of Wales, both codes, mostly on Union because that's the the way that it is for them. But if they could get like you know if Crusaders or whoever could get in there, if they were there or thereabouts and they could get up, it would be nice to have someone from there. Looking at it again, north of the border, going up to Scotland, 
Scotland, they were some absolute boss players when they put their minds to it. But in league, I haven't. There's not much going on about that because again, it's kind of like you know, like Pro Forty and stuff like that for like Edinburgh and all that like in, in Union. Again, another Union heartland. But if they could translate it over and have some teams in there in an, an expansion way in league, that would also look really good as well. Now, other areas, there's parts of the northeast. So yeah, Newcastle have a good team there as well. But again, they need more help with the financing and all of the other stuff that's going on. A lot of the news bits and pieces floating in and out. There's going to be all sorts of bits that do need to be in there and helping them. So there's always going to be bits and pieces floating around for them. But there, there's areas of the northeast where union is a thing. Even union sometimes in other areas is massively not there. For us, in this little area around the Greater Manchester area, so we've got Wigan, Lee, Salford, our main ones. Then we've got, <laughs> you can't say it, Saints, yep, Warrington, Widnes. The six, pretty close by, in a very, very tight environment. Six teams. Then if you want to move on, Huddersfield, Leeds. Says something. We're all stuck here. Here. That little band. Just a little band. Going from one side to the other. A little band. We're practically all stuck in this band all the way along. Even up to Hull. All stuck in this band. Including Bradford in that. We're all stuck in this little band that goes across here. It looks like it's very, very tight. It's a very tight band that. So what? Midlands, again, most of those clubs always end up in Union. Got around there. Hell, even if we could get some from Ireland and just get kind of like, you know, like, uh, call them like our own version of the Celtic Crusaders. You know, have them in there for the, you know, like an Irish team in there. Because I know there has been some Irish teams at some points in the games past. Most of those end up in Union, as always, because Union has the big money right now. But looking at it from a league standpoint, there's also extras there. We could do that. Plus, with the Toronto issue going down, no one how, knows how that's going to happen now. So no one knows what's going to happen with that North American League prospect. Is there going to be, you know, the New York teams, the, well, New York, New Jersey team? Is there going to be any in Ohio, any in Illinois? Any around certain states around there, even flipping Michigan, adding those guys in there, and then if you wanted to take it across. It's like, you know, there's some massive sporting heartlands in the States where rugby would fit in right in that middle between soccer and American football. Right in that nice little spot right there. Texas is a hotbed of sport, but if you could put the hot potato that is rugby in Texas. That would be showing what Smash, Bash and Crash can do on a field. But it's all there. And it's all up in the air for that one. But hey, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, now, I'll split out from rugby. Um, what do you all guys think of when I was doing some of that um, racing game content? You know, when I was doing Wreckfest, Gran Turismo. What do you reckon to those? I know the thumbnails weren't exactly brilliant because I'm still playing about with those. Um, but yeah, and also, as you might have noticed, on the Alton Towers vlog, there was a brand new intro. Thank you to my friend for that one. Thank you very much, dear. I keep forgetting your name. But yeah. I'll always forget your name. Sorry, I know I shouldn't. Because we're supposed to be reading it for years. But I always forget your name. Thank you, Amelia. Sorry. I'm on camera. I'm on camera. I forget my names. Sorry. But thank you for that one, Amelia. You did it. You did be proud on that one. Anyway, the piece of music that you chose as well. That goes way back to some part of the beginning of the, the channel's roots. Back to when I was doing coaster videos and stuff like that. But yeah. 
What do you all guys think about that one as well? Um, like some of the videos that I've been doing in the past. What do you reckon to some of those? Do you, do you want me to bring back some of the random top tens, some of the silly things? You know, do some more like jokey stuff if I possibly can. Um, might do that. I might, if the weather's alright and I get a chance to, um, I might do a, a mini walkie, mini walkie vloggy um, out and lunch at work. Because I work in a building which is right by the canal. So there's a little area where I could probably kind of like, if the weather's all right and I'm able to, have a quick walk and have a cheeky check around there as well. So I can have a bit of a chitty chat to you guys. Yeah, everything else is going all right. The computer build for the new computer, that is progressing. Things have slowed down a touch, but it is progressing. I've now got the case. I've now got to organise getting the fans for it. And once I've got that, then everything else will be starting to move along with that one. So that project might be kind of like slowing down a touch because some of the parts are a little bit more difficult to get because I didn't realise how expensive some things were going to be on that. Uh, don't know what the next video is going to be, so I cannot promise you what the next video will be. It might be a game video. It might be another thing like this. It could be another roundup of something else. It could be that walkie vloggy that I do for you all. Hey, you never know. Whatever comes, whatever comes. But anyway, stick your stuff down below. Oh, uh, before I forget as well, going rolling back just a touch to rugby. Rolling back there. Now, if you could get your favourite beer to be served at the games. What beer would it be? Now, those of you who know me do know I like a bit of Guinness. And I can always get Guinness anyway. So it's fine. I do like my Guinness. You know, like my, stout, my, my stouts. <laughs> stouts. Stouts and ales and stuff like that. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it? My bottles. Uh, that's what I was drinking the other night. Good old bit of tangle foot. And whilst we're on the roots of alcohol. Fireball. Ow! That stuff can hurt sometimes, you know. That stuff hurts! <laughs> but hey, that's all fun. Anyway, stick your comments down below. Stick your views, stick your ideas. Anyway, give us more ideas for other things to cover uh, in amongst all of this or what other games to do. Because yes, I am going to be uh, trying to see if I can get a hold of the uh, Series X and the PS5. I'm going to be getting both since I've already got both. And yes, I'm a greedy bastard. Anyone who knows me is, knows I'm a greedy, greedy bastard. <laughs> but hey, anyway, try this new outro. So this has been Foxstar 3087 signing out. Peace.